She said, now, guess what? <laughs> You're going to die on trees. <laughs> what? You're actually going to have to move the animal. Hi, you are here. Come on, my friend. Uh, you should probably move as well. <laughs> Sorry, she has to die. But she's dying for truth. That's great. I like her. I mean, you're vain. Call me the disappointment about you. Now, we also don't know if these are guys or girls that are speaking, but we're going to have two ladies die. One's dying for beauty, the other one's dying for truth. Well, there's a he. Any question? Whoops, sorry. Oh, you get resurrected. All right. You get stuck. You don't want to die. You'll do it. Come over here. All right. Let's die. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm excited. Hey, dude. I think they might have a switch. What? I think they might have a switch. You look more like beauty there for a second. Thomas 
a little later than the age of reason. Yeah, but the, the age of reason. No. The, it could be, <laughs> what other revolutions were going on? We, Not American. Well, yeah, I mean, we're, she is an American. No. Dickinson is an American poet. Lives in Massachusetts. But you said 1800s. Late 1800s, maybe. What's the, what are people thinking about? Um. Or, I mean, if somebody dies for truth, Maybe a war. It could be the Civil War. Could have been the Revolutionary War. Could be democracy. Could be an ideal. Now, if somebody dies for truth, I mean, typically do people die? I mean, how many people lately have died for <coughs> truth that you know? Yeah, what? Yeah. Well, there are martyrs. There are martyrs who die for truth. Yeah. And then you could think the beauty of that truth, the beauty of that vision. Somebody who's willing to fight to the death for it, right? They die for a cause. We call those people martyrs, right? Do we remember any other names? Some of them we do, right? Now, if you give your life for your country, for a cause, for democracy, should we remember their names? It's kind of sad that maybe now their lips are covered up with moss and the moss covers up their names and they're not remembered anymore and they don't even get to talk in the grave, right? So, at first, it's like, okay, death isn't too bad. But think about dying for a cause. Like missionaries, think about missionaries who die in foreign lands, right? They're persecuted and that sort of thing. We remember them. We tell stories, write books, hear sermons on them, right? So, that's... That's really, it, it's a way of remembering them that helps the cause to live on. So it's significant that not only does the moss cover up their lips, because then they can't speak their cause anymore, and their names get covered up, right? Nobody remembers them, maybe nobody remembers the cause. And so then you've got this question of what was the point of their death? Was it worth dying for? I don't yeah. know. It was. It was worth dying for, even if it wasn't for like self glory. Okay. It's still like, you know, self, I guess, help the problem or so the maybe, truth. Maybe the cause will live on, right? Yeah. So maybe the cause will live on. And so we don't know. It's that question. One died for beauty, one died for truth. For a while, they could chat, talk about chicken fingers. <laughs> but after a while, we ask, was it worth the question? We don't know that any, she leaves you hanging with that, right? She kind of leaves you hanging there or lying on the table. Okay, Emily Dickinson leaves you with a question. That's it. Okay.